Well, swimming is one of the most popular summer Olympic sports for fans to watch. Once again, the University of Michigan has several athletes competing. Jamie Edmonds went to the pool to catch up with some of the swimmers before they left for Tokyo. The signage is everywhere inside Canham Natatorium. So is the Olympic history. What we're doing here at Michigan is trying to create champions for life. And we understand the process has steps. Right? In swimming, the biggest step is the Olympics, right? or being on the national team. So we keep that reminder around everywhere. What bigger reminder than a countdown clock to Tokyo on the wall? This year, associate head swim coach Josh White admits they weren't sure they'd be sending anyone to the games. None of them were seated at times that would have made the Olympic team. I think Jake was seated third in the event, not in the top two. Patrick was seated 12th in the 200 freestyle, so he had to jump six people to get up into sixth. And these are people that are really hard to beat. And yet after the Olympic trials, it became official. Eight athletes with ties to Michigan will compete in Tokyo. Alumna Katie DeLuf, who trains out of state, rising sophomore Jake Mitchell, and rising senior Patrick Callan, plus five international swimmers. And I remember back in 08 watching Phelps and Lochte and all these guys racing and just thinking like how crazy would, be, would it be if I was there one day. Callan is still trying to wrap his head around it. He swam the 200 free at the trials. I was shaking on the box, so I was so nervous. Just being in a heat with guys that are Olympians, you know, world medalists. I didn't feel like I belonged, honestly, in that group. Callan finished six, then found out days later he was chosen to make the U.S. Olympic team. Whenever they came and told me that I was officially on, it was probably one of the coolest moments of my whole career, just right then and there, seeing just everything that I've ever dreamed of come true. Coach White said all the hard work Callan has put in paid off. His improvements at trials were amazing and it was really hard to make the Olympic team this time. Callan heads to Tokyo with his friend Jake Mitchell. Mitchell's path to the Olympic team was wild. He swam in the 400 free at the trials. Normally they take the top two qualifiers in each event provided that they get the Olympic qualifying standard. And so in my event, I got second. However, I was not under the qualifying standard. So Mitchell swam the race again, against the clock, alone in the pool in Omaha, all eyes on him. It's crazy. I mean, instead of um, everybody kind of rooting for whoever they want to win, it was kind of like everyone was behind me trying to get the cut as well. Um, and so I think that was a really cool thing, especially when I walked out hearing everyone cheering. Um, that was just an incredible feeling. I had to get the certain time. It was like 346, 78, and I was 345, 80. A lot of things had to go just right to make it onto the Olympic team for all of the swimmers. Callan realizes that and is grateful. For a school that has produced hundreds of Olympians, he now can say he's one of them. A long history here of Olympians and just you know, producing great swimmers, so it's just an honor to be a part of that. Next steps for these Wolverines, training camp for Team USA in Hawaii, then it's off to Tokyo, where Katie DeLuf will swim in the 4x100 freestyle relay. Callan has the 4x200 freestyle relay, and Mitchell will be the 400 free. Good luck to everyone. Jamie Edmonds, Local 4.